Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at NAB 2015. I'm with Paul Isaacs from Sound Devices. Now, you've got some great new uh, external recorder monitors here. Yeah, we've got a really cool store at this year's show. We're introducing and previewing the Pixie series of on-camera recording field monitors. It's a family of three models. Um, there's two 5-inch models and one 7-inch model. Here's one of the 5-inch models just here. And these 5-inch models are the world's most compact 4K recording field monitors. Very robustly built, die-cast, all die-cast chassis, Gorilla Glass protected LCDs. Um, just very, they're designed to uh, survive in the most extreme environments. So three models. Um, they, these have a full range of monitoring functions. Now the 5-inch monitors have a 1920 by 1080 LCD. Um, very high resolution. Um, that's um, 500 nits brightness, so ideal for bright sunlight as well. Now the 7 inch is a, a 1920 by 1200 pixel LCD, and again 500 nits brightness. Now the three models we, we have one model which is the Pix E5H, which is HDMI only. This is ideally suited to people using the A7S or the GH4 DSLRs. Um, we also have uh, Pix E5, the next model up, which adds SDI capability. And um, that's um, you know, ideal for working with any SDI-based HD cam. And then we have the 7-inch version, which has HDMI and Dual Link SDI. So we consider these to be primarily monitors. So they have a full suite of monitoring functions, including scopes, peaking, false colors, LUTs, uh, guide markers, the whole gamut of uh, features that you'd require from a professional monitor. And these will record all the flavours of ProRes? Yes, yeah, so not only are they monitors but they're also recorders. We can record 4K, so 4096 by 2160 or UHD 3840 up to 30 frames per second. For HD we record up to 60 frames per second. So we support all flavours of ProRes all the way up to ProRes 4x4XQ. There's no other recording field monitor on the market which goes to that super high quality codec. Okay, and you've also so, got these, uh, you know, being sound devices, you've actually got this great accessory here that can clip right. onto, does this only work on the five, the five in the set, or this will work on any of them? Right, yeah, it will work on any of them. So all, all of our monitors have a built-in two-channel line input, so you can record audio that way. But if you do want to add sound devices caliber mic pre's and like great um, LED metering and gain controls with nice chunky transport buttons, the Pixel R is the solution and it works on all three models. Um, but what I want to talk to you about now is the recording media. I mean, uh, this is a, a very important component of any recorder. So this just looks like a standard USB 3 thumb drive and it is that, but it's way more than that. So yes, you can use it as a thumb drive to transfer data very fast in and out of a computer, but when you connect it to a Pixie, into the USB port on a Pixie, clicks in, it, the interface very cleverly switches to SATA, which is very fast and allows us to record those high data rates that ProRes 4x4XQ requires and 4K recording requires. And I guess That's one a, of the great things about this too is that you don't need an external card reader, you don't need something else, it's right. just plug and play. Exactly. So you've recorded, all you need to do once it's finished recording is yank off the drive straight into your computer. And in terms of powering these devices, can you power them externally or they require yeah. camera batteries? Is there different models so available? We have two L-mount slots here which slide on them and we also have an external DC 10 volt to 34 volt input and we can provide the DTAP um, cable accessories to be powered from the camera. So powering is great. Um, I mean, I think the real key thing about these is their robust build quality. But another thing that's really important is this is a best of both worlds interface. So we have tactile buttons. Um, now, tactile buttons really give instant feedback as whether you've uh, activated a control. Like with record, for instance, you need to know that you've made that control. With a, a touch screen, you're not always totally convinced you've actually activated that function. Having said that, we do have a touch screen as well for certain functions, and so the user gets to choose which interface they want depending on their requirements. Okay, now when are all these going to be available and is there pricing yet on Yes, on there them? is pricing. So, um, all the, um, let's start with pricing. The um, HDMI only um, Pixie 5H is $1,195. 
the Pix C5, which adds SDI, is $1,395, and the 7 inch is $1,595. Their availability will be this summer. So we're going to start rolling out with a Pix E5, the SDI HDMI model, and then the E5H will follow soon after that, and then the E7 will follow soon after that. Thanks, Paul. Okay, thank you. Thank you.